Hello guys and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. As you can see, we're in front of Metal Gear and we're in the underground base one. And this is where we left off from last time. Uh, I should save it. I forgot to do that at the end of the last episode, but here we go. No, I just can't believe that Naomi's an enemy spy. Well, that also happened. I don't want to believe it either, but don't say it, Snake. Naomi could be a freaking spy this whole damn time. Whole damn time. I don't know, man. With everything that's happened, I can kind of believe that. But Campbell, we hear we're at Metal Gear. I'm looking into the matter right now. Give me a little more time. Where is she? She's still sleeping. I can't believe it. First, the DARPA chief turns out to be an imposter, and now Naomi. What the hell is going on here? I suppose you're going to tell me you don't know anything, right? I'm sorry, Snake. A uh, madman is threatening the world with a nuclear weapon. I guess that's what I should worry about now. Yeah, Metal Gear right here. Can't let them use this. The huge ass base right here. So let's get everything we need to get in the meantime. That is here. So we prepare for this, this little final thing, when the time comes. Oh. Okay, the camera's down there. Gotcha. At least we got our health upgrade. That's also good. Okay, I guess that's toxic water, by the way. You can't really go in it. I'm gonna throw this so I don't get shot at again. With your bitch ass over there. But yeah, it just drains your life if you don't get out immediately. The longer you're in there, of course. I'm just skipping. Oops. Actually, I think I want to go this way first. Maybe. Some more water. And more bullets as well. So I wonder if they actually have hidden some stuff over there on this side of the water right here. Because you can't go down there. Oh well. Now we're getting another call. Snake, it's me. Otacon. What's wrong? It's nice to hear from you again. Yeah, thanks to the stealth gear. It looks like they've finished getting metal gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards. Nobody patrolling. That it's is too weird. Quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you hacking? A yep, no. that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. Aren't we all? If they're this freaking ready and about to launch the nuke, I'm pretty sure. But we need to climb up these ladders to scale this big ass mother effer. The big bomb, big boss, big O. That's this thing right here. So this little area, not really much to it besides these. And just checking out the legs of Metal Gear. And another call, of course. Snake, Thank you. It's me again. You already got the answers? How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I bet. I never met a system I when it comes to something like this, I bet. Okay, keep trying. Hopefully we have enough time for it. Because with how things are sounding, we don't really have much time left. Before they launch this damn thing. And we're freaking on it too, so imagine them launching it right now. Watch out for guys, just in case, though. 
because our radar's jammed anyways, so we can't really see anyways. So playing this without the freaking map isn't that much of a big deal, especially when you've played it as long as I have, and as many times as I have. It's definitely my first rodeo, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing right here. Unless I was already right there. There's the guard. There's only one guard left in this game. And he's right there. I will tell you that much. Unless you go back and mess with those guards, but this is this is the last guy for the game right here. Snake, I did it. You got past no, the Bingo. Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential metal gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It, it doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Well, damn, for him to get that much information in that little time, definitely impressive. Glad I have him on my side. So, yeah. This thing, Metal Gear, is the real deal. Well, let me tell you that. And this motherfucker's in the way right now. Alright, he just went that way. Now he's gonna come this way. Come my way. Oh, he's going back now. He's going back over there. Alright. And go left. Thank you. I don't want to make too much noise, though. Because then he'll hear it. Okay, I think he's far enough. But yeah, and of course, out of all the things that Ocelot let me uh, keep, he definitely didn't let me keep the freaking optical disk drive. So I can go through here right now. I actually do not have that on me. That Baker gave me, so yay. Yay for that. Oh, more information. Let me hit select. Snake, 
Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Yeah, because that's the important thing right now, so we can stop these fuckers from being fuckers. He's right over there. Um, I'm honestly <laughs> going just to do this right now. It'll be a box. He sees it. How good of security are you? You didn't see the first time. He's gonna go the other way though. Ah, we're fucked. Wow, I dodged him by ducking again. I just wanna know what's over here. Thank you very much. This is the end right here. I'll see how much of an idiot he actually is. I'll be a different box this time, I'll be box B. What is that? Oh, it's just the rail. Let me <laughs> look this way. Okay, I think we're good. So yeah, that's the end of the line. We can't go any further than that. So we're gonna have to come up here where all the information is at. The information systems with Metal Gear. And look, oh, it's Ocelot. With okay. someone. I entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I sit it? That sounds familiar. Russia? No, there's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? Liquid is still alive. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? <laughs> A freaking course. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the president will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the president's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes. President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the Arms Tech President. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, 
They need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the Genome Soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead, invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours! What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place... Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Damn straight she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going? Goddamn time, too. Great timing. So, how do we deactivate them? Okay. So, that's the plan, Liquid. Not outer haven, but heaven. The detonation codes. You see, if you insert the key. Well, welcome to my hell. Active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. And fucking Ocelot couldn't see, see that on me. Terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. F for After first, key, W for water, a hard disk and Z for... Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input Stupid process... Stupid fire. Uh... But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Oh, he spotted me pretty damn quick. Shot my damn arm. And there goes the card key. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. 
Well, duh. The pal key. It's essential. We got it from the freaking beginning of this Let's Play. You know, I'm not gonna have that one guard fucking stop me either. Should have had the body armor on at least. I wish I can look behind me though. It's pretty easy though. Just climb up here and we're good. I don't think he climbs up. Come on, climb up, motherfucker. Don't see me right here? I'm right here. Asshole. I would, I would have said, like, we could have just kept moving, and then this cutscene right here going down would have helped us out. We would have been cleared. Well, let's go get that key and start using it to change the temperature. Well, actually, we're going to have to... That's the worst part. We could have just... We were right there with it. Now we're gonna to have to come down here, pick it up, go all the way back up there, use it, come down, freeze it, go all the way back up, put it in, and then burn it. Go all, it's, th this is the worst part. There's a lot of backtracking right here, right now. So, um, about where that key is, uh, what should I do? It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Mind okay, detector. mind detector will work. Yes. I the guess. The mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the card key should show up on your radar screen. Nice, because I was not about to go throughout this whole damn water. And not know where the hell it is. When... It drains my health. We're gonna have to throw a shot grenade though, because that's gonna be in our way. So it looks like it's right here. That's a bomb. Where is it on me? Throw this shit out. There's the Palky. You know what, since we're freaking down here, hold on, just in case there's more mines. One of them being a bomb. I just want to know what's over here. Let's answer that question now. Ration. And another ration, that was worth it. It's very slow, taking it down, and then it jumped a little bit on that health. Have you seen that there? Well, as soon as I said it. Now we gotta make our way back up and, and put this PAL key in for the first one. And this is what we're gonna be doing for the rest of the episode. But we're near the end like this. This is all we have to do to stop Metal Gear. That mission will be success. So I guess equip some body armor. Cause why not? You never know, man. How many rations do we have? That's a good question. I'd like to know. Four out of five. Uh, use one now. Okay, cool. I was afraid it was going to be giving me full health. Because then we could have just waited to use the whole ration to its full potential. So we're, we're going to be doing a lot of this backtracking bullshit again. Like getting the sniper and then getting kidnapped and going back to that one freaking place over and over again. Just gotta wait for this asshole to leave that little area. And we should be fine going in there. Alright, we're back. Holy crap. Can't believe there was a bomb down there. Like what Ocelot did to our asses. Because there's definitely surveillance surveillance cameras in this biatch. So let's throw that in there. Equip the pal key. Should work. I was about to say. Cutscene. Come on. 
play. Work, damn it, work. Pack number one, confirm. There we go. Awaiting pal code number two. This is based on temperature. Takes care of pal code number one. Next one's blue, which means we have to freeze it. Now pal number two. Freeze the key. You know where we were for that. Pretty sure this thing could still see me though. Like come on now. If we was if we was to get real for one second here. Another ration. I'll take that. I did not mean to do that. Old duh snake. I thought that like ruined everything. I had to... Now there's no way. Let's unequip that. I'm trying to see where that other camera is, because there's another one. It's just right there. It was watching us the whole time. As you've seen during that cutscene. There's the guard. I'm gonna have to take his ass out. Just flip his ass over. Fuck. Come on now. Shouldn't even have gotten caught there. We had his ass. Uh. So yeah, where we fought Vulcan Raven in that freezing ass area, that's where we need to go and just stay there for a little while. So we can freeze the key. This whole thing going all the way up and all the way down, Metal Gear, just to get this shit done. At least, at least we can backtrack a little bit to the point where we can go and see what that door opens up since we have the level 7 card key, the security access code. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oops, I, I do need to get that level 7 card key I was just speaking of out in order to use it. I think I can just do this though. For future references. I'm just going to set you guys off for the fun of it. So it's not that far away but then we're going to have to go all the way back and then we're going to have to come here again. Let's just get the PAL key out. I don't think you have to have it out. I think I'll just do it anyways. Best way to time this, just go around this room once and then wait a little a little while. Kill some time here, you know. There's Raven. Not here anymore. Just his death machine there. That's all we have left of him. Poor soul. The ration should be here too then, right? So despite everything okay, well it's not there. But despite everything we've been through. We have four out of five rations to use still. I wonder if you can just leave it on this screen, it'll just morph. I doubt it, but it's gonna have to wait here, wait for it to freeze, get cold in this room. No, not yet. It's like are we there yet? Are we there yet? I don't know. I think it takes a whole minute. We'll get there eventually, guys, I promise. Let's, let's call someone in the meantime, I guess. Got to lower that car key's temperature. Find some place cold. Well, I'm there. Don't worry. Uh, Otacon, talk to me, baby. Next, you've got to cool the card key. Where should I do that? This is Alaska. Go outside. It's cold everywhere. But you're close to the warehouse where you fought Raven, right? 
That place is right in the middle of the permafrost layer, and there's no heater either. That key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. It's hey, you said that. So that. Unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. Yeah, I got you. But imagine having to go all the way back to the very beginning just so you can go outside. I mean, the furthest we would go besides this would be where we fought Sniper Wolf. There we go. We're ready now. It's a W for water. Frozen water. Okay, other way. There we go. So now we can go back and then put that. We're almost done, guys. We're, we're so close. We're almost there. I'm trying to make this somewhat interesting because... This is kind of a pain to do, but there you go. At least we can just go through this without using a shaft grenade. Easiest damn thing. And that's the security they have on my ass. Security. Sorry. Oh. Had a mini dolphin dive. Go prone. Because I felt like it. I just wanted to do that, actually. Get some tea bags in here on enemies. Well, this this is where disc two really takes place. This is why they had to have a disc two, is because all this information for Metal Gear. Hell, it's taken three screens just to get on top of them. Here we are. Get on there. It still isn't too bad, but my goodness. So we're gonna have to go all the way at the beginning outside just to see what's in that level 7 card C card door if you want uh, whatever you want to call it where it only opens on a level 7 card so he always spawns there always starts right there this motherfucker so there's nowhere else to go this is the final room of metal gear command room I guess since they numbered, you know, the underground base, I'm pretty sure. That, you know, each section of Metal Gear that we climb up on would be like two and then three. The top one being three. Now we're in the command room. With the frozen PAL key, it'll probably change to room temperature two if we stay this way. But that doesn't matter. We got one more to go. We gotta heat this bad boy up. Because it's easier to thaw than to go from hot to cold. I guess, maybe. Warm the key. Let's just say that that's the case. Alright. Oh, look at that! I got out the fucking room before the door closed. <laughs> when I got caught. So it doesn't matter doesn't count because if you do get caught by those cameras you're locked in there and then they poison gas your ass up I'm just gonna go because I don't give a fuck anymore I'm done with this guy I'm trying to flip him over the edge that's not gonna work though I want to try though. I really want his ass to get flipped for just being here, being the last guard. No, get up, get up. He wants to keep choking him. Stop choking him. Flip his ass. Flip his ass, dude. This is literally important to me. I don't want to choke him and kill him. There we go, we flipped him, whatever. I guess we were just too close to each other. I want his ass to fall, you know. Come on now. We got one more chance of doing it then. Again, just trying to make things somewhat interesting here, because going up and down this damn thing... I don't know how you girls do it. Oh, uh, 
don't know why I went there. But I did. It's fine though. It's fine. I got I got I got a girl that likes me. <laughs> That's all that matters. She loves me. She knows I'm just playing. Cause I'm a knucklehead. I'd say something else, but fuck it. Uh Let's focus on Metal Gear. That's what we gotta focus on tonight, guys. To get this shit done. So we're almost there. Just get through this madness like it's nothing. Because it is nothing. I'm not gonna set you guys off. Okay, I'll set you off. Forget what I said. So now we gotta go all the way up. Back at the beginning of last episode, now there's guards in here. Which makes this even better. I thought it would leave, like, footprints on the snow. And they took his shit. Now it's just blood there. Fuck you guys. Apparently when Mantis died, like Lick was said, the hypnosis is wearing off on these guards. So it makes you wonder. <laughs> Actually, it doesn't make you wonder. It makes you think, I guess. But the fact that they're pretty much being controlled into their arms, into their hands to do this shit, to be soldiers and be guards and fight my ass. It's a bad cause, guys. You have to be mind controlled just for that. Pathetic. But yeah, we gotta go all the way back up now to the blast furnace where we started the last episode. Just to heat this bad boy up. Oh, we got a phone call on line 30. Snake. What is it? It's about Naomi Hunter. Of course it is. That's all you ever talk about now. Turn your monitor off. Okay, it's off. No one else can hear us. Go ahead. Sorry, but I didn't want the colonel to hear. Okay, so what's up? I've got a good friend in the Pentagon. Yeah? He's the one who told me about it. It looks like the DIA recently developed a new type of assassination weapon. An assassination weapon? Snake, have you ever heard of something called Fox Die? No. Fox Die. Yeah, Snake, don't lie. We were just hearing liquid. It's yeah. some kind of virus that, that targets specific people. I don't know all the details. That's what killed the fucking DARPA chief, aka Octopus. It's too similar. What Unless is they actually meant the DARPA chief. Cause of death. Didn't the arms tech president and the DARPA chief, I mean, decoy octopus, yeah, okay, die thank you. of something that looked like a heart attack? Yeah. Well, apparently, fox die kills its victims by simulating a heart attack. So that's what that was. No. You're telling me that Naomi was behind it? Snake, try to remember. Did Naomi give you some kind of injection? And Fucking knew it. She no. Was in the best position to have done it, but I don't know what her motive was. Does the colonel know? I'm not sure. But he still hasn't questioned her. Okay, I'll ask him myself. Colonel, what's new with the Naomi situation? I just placed Naomi under arrest. Arrest? She was sending coded messages towards the Alaskan base. I didn't want to believe it, but she must be working with the terrorists. Are you sure? I'm afraid so. She's being interrogated now. What kind of interrogation? Damn. Well, I'd like to avoid the rough stuff, but we don't even have any sodium pentothal here. Call me if you I find thought out what anything. we had was real. So it's true, isn't it? Naomi. I After everything she talked to me about. That means the Fox Dye vaccine must be around somewhere. Listen, I've got bigger things to worry about. But Snake, you might be infected too, you know. All I can do is leave it up to the Colonel. Damn right, Snake. Even if we do have Fox die in us, we're not dying tonight. Not today. We gotta stop this Metal Gear nonsense. And that is the name of the game, so... Bleh. Come on now. Snake me, boy. Oh my god, I knew that some I knew something like that was there. Obviously, from the last episode, but I didn't know it was exactly there. I just remember this asshole trying to freaking shoot me. Stop it. Fucking ass. It's 
so during these elevator scenes, we have those cut scenes to improvise so we're not left with nothing. Besides this. Alright. Wasn't that long now. Since there's really nothing else to talk about. I guess the best thing to do now since we're here is save it. Talk to Mei Ling about it. What can I do for you, Snake? Save it. You know what I want, girl. I want that S. In China, they say, so I can get that W. And they get their L. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but Snake, believe in yourself. You just gotta believe. And I definitely have been. If you know who I am. Like, geez. So here we are. The first thing we're going to do, though, is just come up here so we can get this bullshit over with with this guy. Oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. This better be something really good out there. I forget what it was. I don't think I ever really done this. Because I always forgot to just go back. Should go the other way. Yeah, keep going that way. It's just getting through this freaking room again. What was that noise? Yeah, you can keep hearing those noises. It's much harder. Hmm. Oh my god, he's right there. Okay, well, it's not that bad because it's right here. It's not going to knock me off. Because it's staying in place right there. Now, if it moves again, we're fucked. There's a guy there, too. It's right on top of me. I'll just die if I press X right now. He needs to go. Okay, he's going. Alright, we're back. We're seriously going to snipe this guy again. I don't care. I know you get rewarded for not really killing anyone besides like one person throughout the whole game. But fuck it. Is that what he dropped? Alright, we got stun grenades. We'll use that next time, I guess. Well, I don't know if we want to use that for this. Because then the alert will go off. Anyways. At least get that out there. So we're back here now. There might be guards outside this time. Since they know what's up. Let me wait for that other camera. Yeah, just go. Just go. Just go. Just go. Alright. No, I thought there would be guards out here. Guess not. Well, the big boy door, is it worth it? I wouldn't pass if they put claymores in there too, but let's see. Let's get that stinger out actually. Fuck the... There we go. Okay, now that that's gone. Mine detector. Nothing. Okay, so we came back here for what? Stinger missile. Stinger missile. Nothing but stinger missile. And we used a stinger missile to get rid of them. What a fucking waste. This is why I don't go back here. Yes, it is important and we do need it. But my goodness, man. I don't think... I think we went through every door... Oh, let me see which door number this is. That's six. That's good. Level one. Man, we came back all this way for that. Well, 
geez. And we're not trying to be out here to freeze the card even more. Oh, what? It's already fucking red for as long as we've been in that room. We need to get the fuck out of here, then. Uh, Jeez. Hold on. BRB. Okay, guys. Uh, I had to do some research. So I was right about the whole, you know, box thing. Like, if you're inside the truck and you're just waiting there for just a little bit and you have the box equipped, they'll transport you from here to wherever the box says it'll take you. I don't know if this will change. The, the card might change. But, yeah, this, we're, we're already here at the snow field. This is box C. Box B is the truck with the nuclear warhead storage on it. It takes you outside of it, but the truck is usually near the area. And in box A, the heliport, that's the beginning of the game where we first went in to get our SOCOM. So, I doubt this will happen because there's no guards around. Oh, wait. Is this all there is to load? For the heliport, huh? Holy shit, it actually worked. See, I told you that this could fucking happen. But, oh my god. We're at the beginning of the fucking game now. There's more secrets I forgot to mention. Like, you can actually have the wolves pee on the box, too. When you, like, hit Meryl when you're doing that part. Oh my god, guys. This might be the last time you're going to see this part of the... Oh, shit. This part of the freaking map. We haven't been here since episode one. Oh, and we're fucked. But yeah, it's all still here on disc number two. Told you it works. This is proof. I gotta record it now. I just thought guards were supposed to be around. Can we take the elevator back down? <laughs> to the very, very beginning? I wonder. I'm about to call someone and see what they say about this. I'm back at the beginning. There's no turning back now, Snake. You've got a job to do, and you're our only hope. The world is counting on you. I wonder if he would say that anyways, about no turning back, since I'm like all the way here, you know? At the beginning of the game, trying to turn back, since the beginning of the game. Since we were at the end. Sodomize me, I guess. <laughs> um, I well, I guess to prove more of it, let's go ahead and use box B to get to the canyon. The nuclear warhead building. I'm glad I got to show this off, though. Definitely a neat little Easter egg, if you want to call it that. There you go. And you can tell by the collar of the box, too, like the, the the bottom of it. It was red, and this one's green. Another one, I think, is like purple or blue. Is this all there is to load? The nuclear warhead storage, huh? Yup. Unless the canyon was like... Because the canyon's like right next to this, so... Might have been some other box he had that I seen for the YouTube video, but that's the only video I, I got to see from it. There's really nothing else about this. I just remember doing this as a kid, or have, watching my dad do this. Because they didn't drop him off here with the box he had. So yeah, this one's blue. Oh, drop out and drop back in. Well, there you go, guys. I just wanted to show that off before we go anywhere, because that was our last chance. There you go. Is this all there is to load? The snow field north of the towers, huh? I don't know how you're going to drive there, but thank you. <laughs> so before we go back and end this game, there you go. I just wanted to show that. Since we got pretty much all the boxes. The main three, at least. A, B, and C. 
but there we go. And there's no guards here. How how's my pal looking? It's still red. Cool. So you don't have to have it equipped for it to feel the burn. I just don't want it to feel the cold right now since we're out here. But yeah, I just think that's really neat. Oh, that's the seven door. Fuck the seven door. It has nothing in there for me. The game lagged because all that shit's on it. Uh, ration. Yeah, I don't need so calm. Oh, you just run past that fucker. As I showed you guys last time. But now we're just heading our way back to the very end of the game now. Pal card's so good. Alright. We can just forget about this guy now. Just let him live. Let him be there. We sniped him twice. We don't need to make it a third time. Just in case. Alright. Oh, this is the pain. But we can get through it. We're almost there to the end, though. Oh, maybe I should duck. Alright. Definitely duck now. All we have to do is just put this card in, and all three card keys has been used. With the special trick attached to that one key, making it three. We did it. There's rations down there that I want. I want them. Oh, he's over there. Okay, I thought he was down here. There's one. Is the one over there? Yep, we're getting that one too. I'm getting through that door first, because I am not about to go in that fucking lava pit and die and then have him do the beginning of this area again. He's going down the stairs too. I'm gonna throw a fucking stun grenade. Probably would have been safe, but. Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's go back. Now the checkpoint's here. Get that ration so we're maxed out. Because trust me, we're going to have to fucking eat it. Baby steps. Alright. Anything here? No, it's just always the SOCOM shit. I'll take you again one more time. I usually stand in this room, like right in here. I don't stand out here. I didn't know it even got hot that fast. Okay, this is usually where I... That's usually the room where I stand in to get it to this level. But we're ready, guys. That's it. That's that's the... The slow part. The tedious part of this game. Can I go down the freaking elevator? Jeez. Stop trying to push it. There's some still behind us there, too, that I haven't touched. I see it in the cutscene, but... It's probably just some ammo or something. It's not that big of a deal. We've already got pretty much all the arsenal. I mean, there's some special arsenal. Arsenal. That we can get, but that involves beating the game and then playing it again. <coughs> But for what's in the game, I mean, I guess there's still some secrets we haven't really explored, but we showed off all the ones I know, which is quite a bit. So use our stun. Let's use our shaft one more time. Get rid of this fucker. There's nothing else over there, is there? All right. The rations over there too. Okay. Crawl to it. Climb more right there. Then the one that's right down here too. I know it's here. Yep. The one I ran into. Oh shit, we're out. So I have to crawl our way back. Unless they, unless since it shows and it's flashing, it's probably gone now. Okay, it's not. That scared the shit out of me. Whatever. 
Last time using this elevator to get, go down. This is this last one right here. Get back down to the Metal Gear and put this damn card in, finally. Figuring everything out. Now we just gotta have answers for all the other shit now. And we'll be good. The Fox die and Dr. Naomi. These fucking ravens still being around here. The mark of death. They know where death is. It's like fate. They know where to go. Oh, here's the call we've been looking forward Snake, to. Can you hear oh, me? it's her. It's Naomi. Naomi. What I see hell? that. Campbell and the others are busy right now. I'm on a different codec. Naomi. Is what the colonel says true? Yes. But not everything I said was a lie. Who are you? I don't okay. know myself. I don't know my real name or even what my parents looked like. I bought all my identification. But my reason for getting into genetics was true. Because you want to know yourself, right? That's right. I want to know where I came from. My, my age, my race, anything. Naomi. I was found in Rhodesia sometime in the 80s. A dirty little orphan. Rhodesia? What's now known as Zimbabwe? Yes. Rhodesia was owned by England until 1965, and there were lots of Indian laborers around. That's probably where I got my skin color from, but I'm not even sure about that. Naomi, you're too worried about the past. Isn't it enough to understand who you are now? Understand who I am now? Why should I? No one else tries to understand me. I was alone for so long, until I met my big brother, and him. Your big brother? Yes. Frank Yeager. What? He was a young soldier. Yup. When he picked me up near the Zambezi River. I was half dead from starvation, and he shared his rations with me. Same guy we fought. Frank Yeager. In Zanzibar. The ninja. The man who destroyed was my brother and my only family. No. Gray Fox? We survived that hell together, Frank and I. He protected me. He's my one connection. The only connection I have to my past. And he brought you back to America? No. I was in Mozambique when he came. Who is he? You mean Big Boss? Yes. He brought us to this land of freedom. This America. And then he and my brother went back to Africa to continue the war. And that's when it happened. You killed my benefactor and sent my brother home a cripple. I vowed revenge and joined Foxhound. I knew it was my best chance to meet you and I prayed for the day that I would. So, were your prayers answered? Yes. I waited two long years. To kill me? Is that all you cared about? Yes. That's right. Two years. You were all I thought about for two long years. Like some kind of twisted obsession. Do you still hate me? Not exactly. I was partly wrong about you. What about Liquid and the others? <laughs> I'll have my revenge on them, too. Naomi, you didn't kill that doctor, too, did you? The one that used Gray Fox for his genome experiments? Dr. Clark? No. That was my brother. Afterwards, I covered it up and helped him hide out. So that ninja... I mean, Gray Fox... He's come here to kill me? I don't think so. I think he just came here to fight you. I wasn't sure before, but now I think I understand. A final battle with you. That's all he lives for. I'm sure of it. Fox, no. Naomi, tell me something. About Fox Dye? Fox Dye is a type of retrovirus that targets and kills only specific people. First, it infects the macrophages in the victim's body. Fox dye contains smart enzymes created through protein engineering. They're programmed to respond to specific genetic patterns in the cells. 
Those enzymes recognize the target's DNA? Right. They respond by becoming active and using the macrophages they begin creating TNF Epsilon. Huh? It's a type of cytokine, a peptide which causes cells to die. The TNF Epsilon is carried along the bloodstream to the heart where they attach to the TNF receptors in the heart cells. And then they cause a heart attack? The heart cells suffer a shock and undergo an extreme apoptosis. Then, the victim dies. Apoptosis? You mean the heart cells commit suicide? Naomi. What? You must have programmed that thing to kill me too, right? Do I still have time? Naomi. I don't blame you for wanting me dead, but I can't go yet. I still have a job to do. Listen, Snake. I'm not the one who made the decision to use Fox Die. Huh? You weren't? No. You were injected with Fox Die as a part of this operation. I just wanted to let you know that. No, that's not the whole truth. Huh? The real thing I wanted to tell you was... Snake, I... I... Hey, what are you doing? <gasps> Snake! Naomi! Snake, I can't allow Naomi to make any more unauthorized transmissions. What? Naomi's been removed from this operation. What happened to Naomi? What did she mean when she said that Fox Die was a part of this operation? Colonel, let me talk to her. I won't. She's under arrest. Colonel, you double-crossed me. Snake, there's no time for that. Right now, your job is to stop Metal Gear. Okay, Snake? Oh, damn. Now you take her away. We needed answers, bruh. And for Fox Die just to be part of this operation, just put me on this damn mission just to see how it would work and how it would affect a soldier like me. Is that, is that what you're saying? Motherfucker, I, went, I came all this way. We're almost at the end. Oh, I, I thought I was in the other room again. That's how much that camera fucking scarred me. We're fine. Let's just go. Let's just go. I'm pissed. Sorry. We're almost there to the end. And now you tell me this shit. Get out of town. We don't need anything else in that room. We are good. Just give me this. Just want to throw this one more time. Get my other ration. So now we should be five out of five. And this game is ten out of ten. We're almost at the end. With our card ready to be activated from the heat. This is it, guys. Making our way up. Uptown. Gonna up. Uptown, funk you up. Uptown, funk you up. Don't need any of that. We just need to go. I'll give Otacon one more call. To see what's up. One last time. And May Ling, too, actually. Here, hold on. Let me at least climb on top of Metal Gear. We're on his freaking head. We're on top of Metal Gear. There's the room, guys. G gives us time to wait for this guy to move, too. So, Mei Ling, let's save it. Snake, Naomi's under arrest. What the hell is happening over there? What's the Colonel? Cardiac arrest? Campbell is... Oh. I'm sorry, I can't say anymore. But please believe is me. Is Campbell behind this whole damn thing? Until the end. Until the end. Well, the end is here. This is the last time we're going to be able to save it. Please, Nick, don't give up. And there you go. That was base three. Uh, Master, what do you got to say about this? So Naomi used Fox Die to take her revenge on you. <coughs> but she said she wasn't the one who made the decision to use it. According to her, it was just one part of this operation. Hmm. If this goes all the way up to Campbell, 
might not be so easy to get that vaccine. Oh well, forget about it. Top secret, man. Meryl, of course you're not there. Deep Throat, you're not there. Deep Throat is actually that ninja. FYI, I don't know where else we'll find that information, but... Nastasha, I'm going to ask you one more time. Do you know anything about Fox Die and the real nature of this operation? Sorry, I have not been told anything about that. That's funny. The Colonel said almost exactly the same thing. Sorry, I didn't mean to sound sarcastic. I believe you. Oh, uh, our weapons S expert. Uh. I can't really blame Dr. Naomi. I feel sorry for her. Ever since I was a little kid, I always hated my first name. Hal, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm not a computer. I'm a human. <laughs> my grandfather taking part in the Manhattan Project. My father being born on the day of the Hiroshima bomb. I hated every part of that. My name. My father, my grandfather. It felt like all those things were a ball and chain around my legs, dragging me down. But now that I think about it, I realize that I was blessed. At least I know who I am, where I came from. But Dr. Naomi didn't even know who her parents were, what her real name was. She must have been a very lonely little girl. Otacon. Damn. Sorry, Snake. I guess right now you should focus on re-inputting those PAL codes. For damn sure. We're right there to do it. Story must go on, even after I die, because I lived for my offspring to take my place and to continue. All of this, it just keeps going on and on. And that's life. The true nature and value of life. You know what I mean? Ush. But here we are. That's the end right here, pretty much. Just can't get caught by this camera. I'm not gonna use the shaft grenade because it's pretty easy to do that. Here we go, guys. This is it. See what happens. Pal code number three confirmed. Pal code entry. Complete. They all go down. They're locked in. No! Why? Detonation code. Ready or not. Did they reprogram this? I deactivated it. Thank you, Snake. Now the detonation code is completed. Nothing can stop Metal Gear now. Are you being sarcastic or what the What's fuck? You found the key, and even activated the warhead for us, too. I really must express my gratitude. Sorry to have involved you in that silly shape memory alloy business. What are you talking about? We weren't yeah, that was a to learn the DARPA chief's code. Even with Mantis' psychic powers, he couldn't read his mind. Then Ocelot accidentally killed him during the interrogation. In other right. words, we weren't able to launch the nuclear device, and we were all getting a little worried. Without the threat of a nuclear strike, our demands would never be met. Woody Master, who the fuck are you then? the detonation codes, we had to find some other way. That's when we decided you might prove useful, Snake. What? That's why you kept me alive. First, I thought we might get the information from you, Snake. So I had Decoy Octopus disguise himself as the DARPA chief. Right. Unfortunately, Octopus didn't survive the, the encounter, thanks to Fox Dot. You mean you had this plan from the beginning, just to get me to input the detonation code? Huh? The very beginning, <laughs> you episode didn't one. Think you made it this far by yourself, did you? Who the hell are you? In any case, the launch preparations are complete. Once the world glimpses the power of this weapon, the White House will have no choice but to surrender the Fox Dye vaccine to me. Their ace in the hole is useless now. Ace in the hole? The Pentagon's plan to use you was already successful in the torture room. <laughs> Snake, you're the only one who doesn't know. 
Ah, poor fool. Who are you, anyway? I'll tell you everything you want to know. If you come where I am, that is. Where are you? Very close by. Snake! That's not Master Miller! Campbell! You're too late! Master Miller's body was just discovered at his home. He's been dead for at least three days. I didn't know God because damn. my codec link with Master was cut off. But Mei Ling said his transmission signal was coming from inside the base. So who is it? Snake, you've been talking Do you think? To me, dear brother. The whole fucking time Master was liquid. He was talking to fucking liquid. You've served your purpose. You may die now. Are you kidding me? And we got, we got caught? This detonation code went off? Now we're spotted and we're dead? I'm gonna use that so I can just at least have this ration. It'll take a while to kill us then. Otacon, where the fuck are you? Snake, that's bulletproof glass. You can't break it with an ordinary weapon. Can you think? open the security lock here? That's what Liquid told me. Just hold on for a minute. Come on, Otacon. You gotta save my life. Let me out. I'm knocking. Well, I can also use the gas mask. I definitely want to help, too. I hacked into security. Snake, I'm opening the door. Open the door. Let's get the hell out. There's another ration, too. I'm using this one so I can grab that one. Oh, there he is. This motherfucker. I seen him. Waiting for me. Show me yourself. Snake. Did you like my sunglasses? You'd point a weapon at your own brother? Why did you disguise yourself as master? So I could manipulate you more easily. And you performed quite well, I must say. Although the boys at the Pentagon are probably saying the same thing. What the hell are you talking about? Following orders blindly with no questions asked, you've lost your warrior's pride and become nothing more than a palm snake. What? Stopping the nuclear launch, rescuing the hostages, it was all just a diversion. A diversion? The Pentagon only needed for you to come into contact with us. That's what killed the arms tech president and decoy octopus. You don't mean... That's right. You were sent here to kill us so they could retrieve Metal Gear undamaged, along with the bodies of the genome soldiers. From the beginning, the Pentagon was just using you as a vector to spread fox dye. Fox die? It can't be. Are you telling me Naomi was working with the Pentagon? They thought she was, but it seems that Dr. Naomi Hunter couldn't be controlled so easily. What? We've got a spy working in the Pentagon. He reported that Dr. Hunter altered Fox Dye's program just before the operation, but no one knows how or why. I wonder. Maybe they arrested her so they could find out the answer to that. No doubt. But I had no idea she was motivated by such petty revenge. We still don't know what changes she made to Fox Dye's program. Oh well, it doesn't matter. I've already added the Fox Dye vaccine to my list of White House demands. There's a vaccine? There must be. But that woman is the only one who really knows. Anyway, it might prove to be unnecessary. Why is that? You were successful in coming into contact with all of us, so we must have all been exposed to the virus. It's true that the Armstead President and Decoy Octopus were killed by Fox Dye, but Ocelot, myself, and you, the carrier, were apparently unaffected. A bug in the virus's programming? Hmm. Could be. In any case, if it doesn't kill you, then I'm not worried either. After all, our genetic code is identical. So it's true. You and I are... Yes, twins. But we're not ordinary twins. We're twins linked by cursed genes. Les enfants terribles. 
you're fine. You got all the old man's dominant genes. I got the flawed recessive genes. Everything was done so that you would be the greatest of his children. The only reason I exist is so they could create you. I was the favorite, huh? That's right. I'm just the leftovers of what they used to make you. Can you understand what it's like to know that you're garbage since the day you were born? But I'm the one Father chose. So that's why you're so obsessed with Big Boss. Some warped kind of love. Love? It's hate! He always told me I was inferior, and now I'll have my revenge! <laughs> you should understand me, brother. You killed our father with your own hands! You stole my chance for revenge! Now I'll finish the work that father began. I will surpass him! I will destroy him! You're just like Naomi. Well, I'm not like you! Unlike you, I'm proud of the destiny that is encoded into my very genes! Yeah! Oh shit, it's about to go down now. Snake, your blood will be the first to be spilled by this glorious new weapon. Oh, it's ready too. An honor, a gift from your brother. Since we ac accidentally and actually activated it. It's moving. Guess that's how we're brothers from Big Boss's jeans. Nothing stop. else. And this is it, guys. The fight against Liquid inside of Metal Gear. My goodness. We finally made it to this point. At the end. We gotta fight this fucking thing. One on one. But that's for next time, because this is episode 8. And this should be something for the grand finale next time on the finale of Metal Gear Solid. God help us. Metal Gear is moving. Snake, it's all riding on you now. You've got to stop that thing. But how? You'll have to ask Dr. Emmerich, the guy who made it. Otacon. Snake, Rex's armor is impregnable. You can't do any damage with the weapons you've got. Rex uses the latest advances in compound armor. The only way you can pierce it is with a high-performance heat round. So what do I do? Rex's pilot seat operates exactly like a VR system. It's got multiple sensors connected to a high-tech interface used for the controls. It's completely self-enclosed and shut off from the outside environment. He's not using his naked eyes? That's right. So if you could somehow destroy the sensors... Do you see that round plate on Rex's left arm? Yeah, that thing that looks like a shield. That's a radome. If you can destroy that thing, it won't be able to use its electronic equipment. So he'll be blinded? Yeah, try to hit that radome with a Stinger missile. So that will stop it? No. Rex was designed so it can be controlled manually, too. Oh, great. The part that looks like a beak is where the pilot seat is. In an emergency, it'll open up. Rex's armor is perfect. You can't destroy it. You told me that already. But the interior is a different story. I get it. First, I destroy the radome. That will force him to open up the pilot seat. Right. If you can shoot a Stinger missile into the cockpit, you'll destroy the computer control system. You intentionally designed it with a weak point? It's not a weak point. I like to think of it as a character flaw. People just aren't complete without some type of character flaw, don't you think? I guess so. I owe you one, Otacon. Right. Of course, someone had to call during that, but that's fine. So we'll take care of this next time, guys. Just had to get that out the way. Let's go ahead and save it, too.
just in case. I can do to help you. All I can do is cheer you on. I know mailing, but we can save it. That's the best part. Thank you for everything. Once again. I got gotcha. you. We will do this, guys. Next time on the grand finale of Metal Gear Solid. See you guys then.